Is did the Niners dodge a bullet with the with Wentz going to Indianapolis? First off, Jason, chill in the comments. But then second, <laughs> um, I think they definitely dodged a bullet. Uh, <laughs> Second and third round picks is, is, are tough for me, but uh, I just – I'm not a big yeah. Wentz guy. I don't think he's been good since his MVP season. If he has had a, quote, good season, it was 2019, and he had no weapons. But uh, arguably, Jimmy Garoppolo looked better that season. So Jimmy Garoppolo does not have the high ceiling that a healthy Carson Wentz has. But I think he actually has a better floor because I think Carson Wentz bad is really bad. He takes a lot of sacks. I know Jimmy does too but he turns the ball over a lot more than him and they both have health concerns. So that's, that's a big issue too. And then my biggest thing with him is the locker room. It's hard to go from Garoppolo who was, who is liked in the locker room. He might not be necessarily liked by the media, but he's liked in the locker room by his teammates and he might not be the best quarterback, but going to Carson Wentz who has serious locker room concerns is quite the switch up. Yeah, I think they dodged a bullet in that sense. Um, this the same thing that Maverick says. Like, I think I think his floor is not not the same as Garoppolo's. His ceiling could be higher. And I even wrote about it saying I think maybe if he can, he could probably get somewhere halfway to where he was, like a like a median point from his MVP year, the, the year they won the Super Bowl, his MVP caliber league year. Um, but I just I just think it's too much to factor in. There's too much variables. Like, can he stay healthy? Number one, can he get along with people? Because the fact that the Eagles are trying to trade him. And the fact that the teams looked so much better, more well equipped. I mean, they wanted to adapt and rally around Jalen Hurts more, um, especially that that final that final week when they benched Hurts. I said a lot that they kind of saw some inspiration from him, and when they first put him in, so I think they dodged a bullet there. I know the the compensation wasn't wasn't really much. I mean, if you're getting like a starting caliber quarterback, a second round pick is not that bad, um, or excuse mm. me, a conditional and a third round mm. pick is not that bad, but. Yeah, I think they dodged a bullet because it's just too much to. It just feels like it's too much to factor in. That locker room drama is like a nah, nah. I'm okay. Yeah, I think they dodged a bullet, and the, the way I look at it is like he's not necessarily an upgrade over Jimmy Garoppolo. It's like the same thing. Yeah, a guy with the ACL tear, a guy who has confidence issues, who isn't particularly young, who's expensive, who who has um, questions about his love of the game, all that stuff. Like, I think it's a big bullet that's dodged because again it's it almost seems like a niner move he's not too expensive and you could get him for a third and a conditional two that's right up john lynch's alley are you kidding and all the things that that kyle shanahan has said about carson Wentz, how great he is how he was the mvp it's like it almost felt like they were gonna go from jimmy garoppolo 1.0 to jimmy garoppolo 2.0 in terms of like issues and stuff so yeah i would Way to demonstrate res- dem- demonstrate restraint and not just swap out one dude with a surgically repaired knee for another dude with a surgically repaired knee. It's good that the Niners like stop with the injury with the cert with the um, the guys who have been under the knife. Stop. I like that. 